One of the important chapters that you see in chemistry is the chapter dealing with light. It's amazing how many experiments you can do using devices like a colorimeter or a spectrophotometer. Light is an essential part of chemical analysis. Well, think about it. As you analyze an unknown solution where you're trying to set up a standard curve, you need to know exactly what kind of wavelength to set the colorimeter or spectrophotometer to. So what if I had an unknown copper sulfate solution? Now this is a one molar solution. We know this one. But what if we're trying to analyze the concentration of an unknown solution? What you would probably have to do first is determine an absorption curve. Let's look at this. It's a blue solution. Now, why is a copper sulfate solution blue? You think about it. What's happening is the white light is coming down, white light being composed of all colors. The red, the orange, the yellow, the blue, the green, the indigo, and the violet. But as it interacts with the particular particles in the copper sulfate solution, many of those colors of the white light are absorbed except for the particular shade of blue that we are seeing. We're seeing the blue light given off by this. And so we need to, by using a spectrophotometer, analyze the colors and the interactions. So we need to, first off, set an absorption curve. We need to find what particular wavelength to set that spectrophotometer to to get the maximum absorption. Because if we have maximum absorption, we can get the best results. So with a blue solution like this, we have to maybe try to find out what kind of wavelength we want to check. I find a very easy, quick, cheap way to get this conveyed to the students is by the use of what we're showing on our overhead camera. This is available at a theatrical shop. I love to use this because it gets some interdisciplinary aspect in there. The students are possibly able to talk to their theater teacher, or maybe even some of your students have used something like this. This is a set of Roscoe Lux samples. These are theater gels. These are different colored samples that they might use to give different mood lighting in theatrical productions. But it has phenomenal aspects of chemistry. I have picked a particular shade of blue right here that seems to come close to matching a one molar copper sulfate solution. They're very close in color intensities. But what's nice about this is the company, they have not only the cell, but right underneath it, they have an absorption or a transmission curve. Let's go over here to the easel. And as you can see, this is the exact graph that they have included. It's just been enlarged for viewing pleasure. But what we have down here is the wavelength in nanometers. What the students are seeing is that even theater majors need to have some understanding of particular wavelengths. We have 380 here, and the wavelength goes all the way to 700, essentially the visible spectrum of light. But then on the vertical axis, we have percent transmission. Or you might, in analysis, have this as percent transmittance. And this goes from 0 to 100% transmission. Now this is for the exact same blue cell that we had. And if you look at the curve, it's composed of a particular material that right down here, if you look right here at this point, we only have 10% transmittance. Well, now, what's that saying about the cell? If it's only transmitting 10%, where's the other approximate 90% going? And that's being absorbed by the particular cell. Or if you equate it to the solution, that's where you would want your maximum absorption. That's where you would want the spectrophotometer set to, because it's going to absorb the most light and therefore the most energy and therefore you're going to get your best results in analysis of unknowns by using spectrophotometry. I think a theater cell 
is a great, cheap, easy way to convey this. And they have hundreds of samples that you can match up with different solutions in the colors to see what's going on. So maybe talk to your theater department to see if they have cell samples available. Or maybe try to find something at a theatrical shop. So thank you much.